Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for y'all today, baby. We got another what if reaction video here. As usual, YouTube is in the description. Be sure to check them out. And this one, y'all are gonna love. What if you drilled a hole through the earth? What would you find? I know what I think I'd find. If y'all do enjoy this, leave a like, hit the sub button. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been looking forward to this one. What if you drill a hole through the earth? Now listen, I think eventually you're gonna hit water, okay? I know at the beginning of these what if videos, I've said like what I think and truly, there's gotta be water down there. That's where I'm at. Someone play the iconic clip. I'm stupid. Guys, what are you talking about? Dude. The panhandle is like right next to the ocean, bro. So if I dig like five feet, I may f see the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Dude, no, I'm serious. Like Hawaii, if you're on Hawaii and if someone dug 500 feet, I don't know how far they gotta go, but eventually you could hit the ocean, right? No. You know what might be the best way to travel to the other side of the world? Through it. By drilling your way right through the planet. This would be the journey of a lifetime. If you don't mind riding through molten rock and water. pressure. And water. What would you see along the way? How long would this journey through Earth take? And. How would a gravity train keep you alive? Gravity train. That's the actually heat is on and you're under all sorts of That's pressure. actually interesting to think about because this gravity is what if pulls you to the center of the earth, right? But what if you're in the center? The hole through earth. Hold on a minute, bro. My brain hurts already. It's been 30 seconds. Imagine going from Argentina to China in less than an hour. All you need is a hole straight <laughs> through the earth. That's it. But Drilling this hole would be the hardest part of the endeavor. You could just handle it supervillain style and fire a laser at Earth. But today, we'll be taking a trip through the biggest hole we've drilled in the history of our planet. Sit tight, because this is gonna be one heck of a- That roller coaster, I almost, I almost passed out on, by the way. This roller coaster, it's one at uh, Universal Studios, the rock and roller coaster. <laughs> The first thing you'd need to do would be to drill the deepest hole humanity has ever imagined. We've already- I'm gonna take a stab at this. We've drilled 5,000 feet. Complete stab in the dark. Build holes through the earth on what if, so you know what to do. First, you'd need a really big drill and it would take a few years to complete this project. You'd be working in enormous heat and pressure and it would increase the closer you get to Earth's center. But when the hole is finished, you'd have your very own gravity tunnel, a gateway between one side of the Earth and the other. I'll explain how it would work in a moment. Next, you'd need to find yourself a comfy vehicle to <laughs> get you through the Earth. Right. If you just jumped into the depths of the Earth, you'd burn to a crisp and crushed into a pancake. So, was that a pancake? Burned to a crisp and crushed. Oh, this is why waffles are a million times better, bro. Pancake. So, hop on the gravity train. This train would accelerate using only the force of gravity, mm. and it would protect you from the searing heat and extreme pressure. The first leg of the journey would take you through Earth's crust. Gotta be water down Depending there, bro. On where you begin your trip, the crust can be five to 70 kilometers thick. And a five to 70. What is 70 kilometers? Kilometers? Kilometers in miles? That's 43 miles. Amazingly, Holy shit. it only makes up 1% of the And that's 1%? You'd yeah, my dick! Feeling pretty carefree and goodness gracious! The surface, you'd be at the same level as subways or the Paris catacombs. But let's go a little further down. At two and a half kilometers, you'd be at the same depth as the deepest fossil ever discovered. Wow! And once you get to three point six kilometers, you'd be able to see the devil worm. What? It's the deepest living animal ever found. 
Devil worm? Uh, oh my god, me? that name's terrifying. Or is it getting hot? Believe it or not, some people are working at this depth. What? The Mpanang gold mine in South Africa is so far down that the heat is an issue. And believe me, you wouldn't enjoy the 60 degrees Celsius temperature down here. 60 degrees, it's like uh, 68 degrees Celsius. In, it's like everything I have to look up, bro, and that's what? 140? Then gravity would take you further down. Oh my God. At 8.8 .8 kilometers below the Earth's surface, you'd have traveled further than the height of Mount Everest. And at 11 kilometers underground, you'd be deeper than the Mariana Trench. At 12.26 kilometers, Mariana Trench where all the, they think the, the same depth the big as the cold. The hell's the name of it, bro? Megalodon lives in the Mariana Trench or whatever. Super deep I wonder if there's a video on the Mariana it's Trench, bro. I should react to that. I that'd be done. cracked. And now you'd really feel the intense pressure on your body. At this step, air pressure is 4,000 times the pressure at sea level. I don't know what that means. As you approach the end of the first part <laughs> of this epic journey, you might get to see a plethora of gems. I'm talking about rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. They could got sapphire and emerald M9 down there. Hey, I'm in. Hey, get me a shovel. You know what I'm saying? Valuable souvenirs. You got a karambit? Make it through <laughs> to the other side of the earth. And at 40 kilometers down, part one of your voyage would be behind you, or uh, above you, depending on how you see it. Let's go onward to the second layer of Earth, the mantle. Most people think it has a lava-like texture, but at this shallow depth, relatively speaking, it's rock solid. Only when you're deeper will it start becoming molten. This would be the longest part of your journey. That's because the mantle makes up wow. an impressive 84% of Earth's volume. The mantle is about 2,900 kilometers thick. You wouldn't see much inside it, except for one dazzling exception. Psst. That's 1,801 miles. This depth, That's a long time. The enormous pressure and heat forms diamonds. They make their way to the Earth's surface through volcanic activity. And that's where we humans find them. But you are lucky and find them at their birthplace. Don't be shy, grab a few. As you arrive about 410 kilometers below the surface, things would start to get weird. The mantle's rock would be molten hot, but instead of it staying in its melted state, the mantle would turn hard. That's because of the extreme pressure. What? Moving on to the bottom of the mantle, a mere 1,000 kilometers down, you would experience the force of mantle blobs. These uh -huh. are supercharged plumes of hot rock, and if they surface, they would become devastating super volcanoes. Oh, no need is to that? Say, you'd feel extremely hot. Let's uh, keep those down you there, shall almost we? Almost halfway through the Earth, and that must mean you're approaching the outer core. At depths of 3,000 kilometers, the outer core is made of iron and nickel. And boy, would it be hot! The temperatures around you would range from 4,500 oh, to right. 5,500 degrees Celsius. Is that Celsius. all? <laughs> At 5,000 kilometers below the surface, and you think you Florida's hot? Earth's inner core. This giant solid iron sphere has a mind-boggling temperature of 5,200 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is a crushing 3.6 million times more than at sea level. Uh, <laughs> Let's hope your gravity train would be up to the challenge at these extreme temperatures. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that wouldn't work. Manual, but I'm sure you'll be just fine. Finally, you would make it to the halfway point of your subterranean voyage. Right at the center of Earth, the mass would be equal in all directions, and you'd get to experience zero gravity. Huh. But remember, that was just half the journey. You'll have to do that all over again you but have to get to the other side first to finish your trip this journey would put you under a lot of pressure it would make you hot most likely uncomfortable and rich 
Well, I did collect the oh, diamonds. Oh, the diamonds, yeah. right? So you're saying there's no water now, down there? Are you how sure? How long do you think it would take to get from one side of the Earth to the other? How long? I'm gonna do this in hours. It would take. Thirty-five hours. Okay, it's time I told you more about the gravity tunnel. This is a theoretical passageway through the Earth, or what? simply a hole through the Earth, as I like to call it. If it's created correctly, you could get from one side of the Earth to the other in about 42 minutes using... 42 minutes?! Holy shit! I'm an idiot! Tunnel. But as I mentioned before, traveling through the Earth would be the easy part. It's the drilling that would be hard. If we could engineer such a feat, it would revolutionize travel. And you'd have one short but epic journey. But what if that hole through Earth was bigger? What if Earth were shaped like a donut? I'm in. Dude, <laughs> bro, I, okay. So I thought you could dig to the ocean, full disclosure. But I saw somewhere, someone tagged me that they found water when they were digging into the earth, bro. I was right. Where's the, someone commented down below, bro, I'm telling you.